On Friday night during their Sun Saints basketball game in Los Angeles, Kim Kardashian and her ex-husband Kanye West had yet another unpleasant encounter. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The co-parenting arrangement between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West seems to be more tense. The two were observed avoiding each other while they went to a basketball game with their son, Saint. The two separated when they got to the Los Angeles event and sat apart after Kim seemed to take offense at some of Kanye's remarks. Following the occasion, the two parted ways. Bianca Sensori, Kanye's wife, has been called a radicalized Kim Kardashian by some, although she wasn't there. But this is the second time in a few days that it has occurred. The two went to another of Saints basketball games, but they sat in different seats. Furthermore, on Friday night, January 19th, the two attended their son Saints basketball game in Los Angeles. He didn't appear to be accompanied in their contact, whereas the model and business mogul went with their daughter Chicago. Chicago spoke with her father for a little while, and the two of them left, but for their time together, Chicago and Kim set a few vacant chairs aside from him. Maintaining this connection is also a very challenging undertaking particularly in light of all of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's past issues. On the other hand, she discussed how she discusses their divorce with their kids and how they always come first in a recent interview with GQ. You want to be sensitive because they're just kids, and it's hard to go through no matter what age. You have to make sure that you only go to a level that they can understand. It's okay to show a vulnerable side. You never go to a negative side. Kanye West's contentious behavior and frequently prejudiced remarks, on the other hand, don't help this process in any way. The rifts in his relationship with Kim Kardashian which he made very public, were already difficult to deal with. Despite this, based on what we can tell from occasions like these, the 46-year-old still appears to have a positive relationship with his kids. After all, Northwest is on his most recent album. I love it here, we gonna take over the year. Ye's family was really bonding during that time. When Kanye and his rap Avengers got together to preview the record, North had the crowd going bonkers with her bars. Is your bestie, Miss Miss West? Outside the event, Bianca carried Chicago while Saint followed closely behind. Bianca and he have been married for around a year, and it's obvious that the children are getting along with her. While his 10-year-old had the Winwood Marketplace audience in the palm of her hand, Can I continued to wear his hooded attire. A few other troubled rappers found refuge at the listening party, Offset, who had recently broken up with Cardi B, and Kodak Black, who had recently been let out of jail, were also present to take in the atmosphere. Although Ye and Ty haven't announced a release date, their album seems to have a lot of big names. Charlie Wilson, Chris Brown, Bad Bunny, Freddie Gibbs, Lil Durk, and Lil Baby were all heard during the album's replay. North, Kim Kardashian's eldest child by Kanye West, is renowned for having a strong voice. The feisty 10-year-old's ideas are always freely shared, providing followers with a never-ending source of entertainment. It comes as no surprise, then, that she has a lot of strong opinions about many celebs. Most recently, she commented on Young Miami from City Girls. North is seen watching the 2023 Met Gala in a recent episode of The Kardashians while perched on a couch and offering her thoughts on the people who are walking the red carpet. Then, Young Miami appeared on screen, decked up in a translucent black gown and a spectacular neck piece that had pearl strands draped across her torso. Although North didn't seem overtly dissatisfied with the appearance, she did object to how similar it was to her mother's. She's pretty. It's just... Stop copying my mom with... With those pearls. She said, and gave a peace sign. At the event, Kim K looked stunning in a lavish Skyaparelli gown that was custom made. It was renowned for having up to 50,000 freshwater pearls and 16,000 crystals. North made it apparent that she wasn't a big lover of her mother's appearance, even if she had no trouble defending it. Later in the episode, she gave her take on the look to Skyaparelli's creative director himself, Daniel Roseberry. I like the pearls, I just don't like that it looks like from the dollar store. She shared, claiming that it made her mom look like a Hawaiian girl with her dress all ripped. According to her, there were also way too gaps in the pearls, and the diamonds ruined it. Nearly 20 years after Yeezy wore the Ralph Lauren rugby in 2004, Can I West's daughter, Northwest, has replicated a classic E look. Northwest recreated the classic look while on vacation in Tokyo, and shared it on TikTok. She wore the identical orange and blue polo rugby long sleeve sweater that her father did 20 years prior, together with his gold Rockefeller necklace, a lime green button down underneath, which was a prominent fashion statement of the day and was like here he just doesn't want it anymore he tells me to burn his stuff he's like who cares burn it i thought maybe the kids would think it's so cool i kind of kept everything for the kids like all these college dropout stuff i'm gonna take some for north she continued the reality is life is really different and when you know it can never get back there that's what sucks and that's what's hard but my kids will have the best memories this will be the best 
tribute for them. They think their dad is the best thing and the most amazing thing and he's so great with them. Why would I take that away from them because I'm angry? With sons Sam, 4, Saint, 7, and daughter Chicago, 5, following closely behind. North is the oldest of the four children born to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. North is 10 years old. In May 2014, Kim and Kanye West exchanged vows in a grandiose ceremony, in the Tuscany Hills outside of Florence, Italy. After a protracted court struggle that culminated with Ye agreeing to wire Kardashian $200,000 on the first of every month going forward as child support payments, their divorce was finally finalized in November 2022. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.